Excellent. So we have this, the Prometheus server, two node exporters. We've created recording rules and alerting rules. And everything's working really well. But we're not getting external notifications when an alert happens. Sitting there refreshing the alert screen all the time isn't really a good use of time. So what we can do is install another service called an alert manager. The alert manager is quite a sophisticated program that warrants a course in itself. So I'm just going to show you the bare bones minimum just to at least get an alert from an SMTP server to our email from any triggered alerts. And just so that you know how quite sophisticated the alert manager is, it supports summarization, notification rate limiting, silencing and alert dependencies on top of the simple alert definitions. Now it's a course in itself. So let's just install the alert manager now on the same server as our Prometheus server. And like always, the commands are in my documentation and you can just copy paste. But anyway, let's just visit this download page to ensure we've got the latest version. We find alert manager here just under the Prometheus download. And I'll be taking alert manager 19 Linux. And there's the link there copied the clipboard let's go onto my server there it is let's download that alert manager releases download version 0.19 here we go from github need to untar it okay ls this is what we got we got a new alert manager folder okay let's just cd into that folder have a look at it there's the alert manager. We can actually start it straight away. And there we go, it's listening. It's listening on port 9093. Now, just like with the node exporter and with the Prometheus service, we can visit it in the browser. Okay, and if I visit HTTP, my domain 9093, it will take me straight to the alerts page. The alerts system is quite sophisticated, like the Prometheus user interface. There are many options here. This is why I say it's a course in itself. The next step is to configure the alert manager as a service. So back on the server, let's stop that process and convert it to a service. First, we'll copy these files here to the user local bin folder. There we go, cp recursive user local bin alert manager okay let's now create the service sudo nano etc systemd system alert manager service let's copy this script copy the clipboard okay the prometheus alert manager service type simple xx start is user local bin alert manager alert manager that's what we just copied across and the config file is also the same alert manager slash alert manager yml yes we should now be able to start that sudo service alert manager start it's good let's check its status okay it's running now that's running as a service and this page still works that's good so we now have the alert manager running here okay so the next step is you'll notice that it's http and it's listening on port 9093 so there are no restrictions there is no basic authentication no ssl either so you could access that right now i'm going to block port 9093 so that you can't access it through port 9093 anymore so there you go here's a rule I'm going to allow local host on 9093 accept and drop everything else and we can inspect the rules there we go so 90 90 91 100 9093 that should not work now on 9093 waiting that will time out Excellent. Now to create a reverse proxy 
entry for it in Nginx. So let's edit the Nginx configuration that we created for Prometheus. There we go. And we're going to create a new location down here. So we'll just copy this one. And it is slash alert manager slash proxy pass HTTP localhost 9093. So this is an internal operation. So anything to my URL slash alert manager will go onto there. Let's uh, save that. Control X. Yes. And restart Nginx. Check its status. Excellent, active. Now let's visit that in the browser. Let's change this to HTTPS Alert Manager. There we go, it's Alert Manager. And another bonus at the same time, it has basic authentication. I'll just demonstrate that by opening a fresh browser. There we go. Need to use them password. There we go. The reason why that works is because we're using our existing Prometheus Nginx configuration, which is on 443 SSL, has certificates and auth basic configured. Okay, so that's what we just did. We just installed Prometheus Alert Manager. And it's also running behind the same Nginx reverse proxy that we've set up that has SSL and basic authentication. So that's good as protected. So the next step is to install a send only SMTP server and then configure Prometheus to use the alert manager.